Hello there. Today I'm with a new concept in continuation with economic problem. Uh, it is the central problems of any economy. So based on that, I'm just, we know, we already know that resources are scarce. It revolves around that. It talks about the choice that is involved and they are called central for the simple reason that they are common to all the economies of the world. All the economies that we've characterized, for example, it can be free economy, it could be the command economy, which is known as centrally planned, or the mixed economy. And uh, it's a central problem which looks into the allocation of resources. Uh, and while deciding on the allocation of resources as to how to produce, what to produce, and for whom to produce, that is while you're thinking about, when the society is thinking about allocating resources, they have to also keep in mind that the, there should be no wastage. There has to be economizing of resources. There should be no wastage of resources. And not only that, they also have to see that there has to be a growth of resources. Resources have to keep growing. So this is what is so important about the central problems and every economy is beset by this problem. So now talking about the central problems, let me talk about that the central problems are three. They've divided them into three parts. What to produce and in what quantities, how to produce, and for whom to produce. That is the most important thing. So it's a, it's a question as, again, let's just go about this, that resources are limited. So we have to see that, we have to decide what should be produced consumer goods or producer goods or or we can say if there's a war economy going on it's wartime goods or peacetime goods so they have to make a choice but the choice is not the important thing is in what quantities it's not a question about uh, either or it is a combination so that is studied under what to produce the next problem that we see is how to produce so that answers to the question as to the technique of production so it is concerned with the efficient use of resources it implies more production at less cost that is the most important thing and these two techniques let's take up the labor intensive technique under this te technique labor is more labor is used as uh, uh, more labor is used as compared to the capital and capital intensive technique more capital is used as against uh, labor so the important thing is that the productivity should be raised and the cost at the lowest of the lowest cost and then we come to what is really important is for whom to produce, who gets what, for whom to produce. So that is a question. The question is broadly every economy, there are two sectors in the economy. There is the rich and the poor. So if you want social justice, you want to promote social justice then you have to see that the poor get enough. So it would reduce inequality if you do this but there's a there is a cost involved to it that is by producing goods more more goods for the poor the profits of the producers will remain low and low profits would mean low investment implying low gross domestic product growth so the economy would uh, remain say backward for a longer time thus there is a problem of choice so you have to, again, choose between, say, uh, social equality or growth. So this is basically, again, let me just tell you, 
these are the central uh, problems what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce so when you're talking about what to produce it's not just about certain uh, category of goods it has to be in what quantities also a combination so I'm sure it's interesting enough and uh, based on this let me just take you to the assignment so this is what is the assignment assignment number seven central problems of an economy uh, this will help me know or help you know how much you've understood let's take this question number one what do you mean by central problems of an economy second question is list the central problems relating to allocation of resources or sometimes you just get or oh, list the central problems so you just have to name them question number three is explain the problem of what to produce so here you will talk about what to produce and in what quantities then you have question four what does the problem how to produce relate to and then question number five is explain the central problem of whom to produce so basically this is it and we have assignment number six that we just finished in the previous uh, class assignment number six that was pertaining to economic problem I hope you can see that so economic problem let's just take the question number one what do you mean by an economic problem so in the answer it is basically a problem of choice from amongst the available alternative of any resource so it's basically a problem of choice that's the economic problem anyways two what is the root cause of any economic problem so answer is scarcity of resources scarcity of resources is the basic problem and the choice question three list the causes for an economic problem so there are three number one unlimited wants second is scarce means that is means are means means is resources that is their demand is greater than their supply and third is alternative use of resources question four which i asked you what do you mean by opportunity cost answer it is the value of the next best alternative for gone the alternative that you've left so that 
that brings us to the close. So I hope the answers matched with your